wasn't very prepared, and we didn't know the true meaning of the Advent season. We were blessed with the year to grow in our Christian journey, and we'd like to share what we've been thinking of, hope, peace, joy, and love. Today we will start with hope. Our hearts were created to be filled with hope. <laughs> but in today's world, our hearts can be distracted. So what does your heart hope for? I hope that I get what I want for Christmas. I hope the kids can come home this year. I hope I can afford some better gifts. I hope there's no homework over Christmas break. I hope they sing hallelujah at the Christmas Eve service. I hope Grandma isn't lonely. I hope my house is full of visitors. I hope my dad stays sober. <laughs> I hope Christmas is magical. I hope I can help help them see the real, real God is. God, God we put our hope, hope in you alone. We all hope for many things in our lives. The things we get for Christmas will not last as long as the things we get from Christmas. We will finish our Christmas treats, get bored with our Christmas toys, and grow out of our Christmas clothes. But the things we get from Christ this Christmas and always, hope, peace, joy, and love, will go with us all of our life. The first Advent candle is the candle of the prophets. It stands for hope. Jesus is our hope. He died on the cross to save us and gives us everlasting life. The light of hope shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. We light this candle for hope. Let us pray. Gracious God, on this first Sunday in Advent, you call us to awaken and watch for your coming again. May we wait for Christ's coming with hope in our hearts. Hope that at this Christmas, your kingdom will come more fully in our lives. 